So today I'm going to be doing my January 2014 favorites. There's been a couple of new things I've tried, a couple of old favorites, so let's just get started. For the longest time I've been looking for a new shampoo and conditioner that just wows me. I haven't found anything that I've really liked since the Thermosilk, Thermoshine, whichever version you remember, um, that Ashley Simpson was a spokesperson for a long time ago. I used to love that stuff. So silky and shiny and uh, it just it always made my hair smell good and I absolutely loved it but however I can never find it anymore I haven't been able to find it since high school I went to Walgreens not too long ago and I found these it's the Not Your Mother's um, shampoo and conditioner the Way to Grow one it's in like a red kind of like a red packaging and I smelled it and I was like wow this smells really good it kinda smells like apples and so I was like, well, this is different. You know, I kind of like this. And after thinking about it for a couple of days, I told myself that I was going to go ahead and go back and get it. Well, I went back and got it, and I tried it the first night, and I fell in love. I absolutely love this now. It is my all-time favorite. And before I bought these, I was buying the Aussie. I liked it, but I didn't love it. This, however, this stuff I love. The main reason being is that... One, my hair feels completely clean when I'm done. Anyways, after I've shampooed it and I'm rinsing it out, you can already tell how clean it is. Just like if you run your fingers through your hair, it's just squeaky clean. And then when I go ahead and use the conditioner, it's really easy because when I'm doing my hair, I like to run my fingers through it with the conditioner. After I kind of rub it all in and then I'll run my fingers through it, I'm making sure I'm getting at the ends. And it just, it works so nicely. My hair has felt so smooth. And I can't necessarily speak on whether or not it's lengthening, but I have been growing my hair out and it does seem to be healthier at the ends, as in I have less split ends now than I did when I first started using the shampoo. Um, the only downside I'm going to see is I have long hair and this is for, you know, making your hair longer and potentially this is going to go really quickly because the longer your hair gets, the more shampoo and conditioner you use and everyone knows how conditioner disappears first and I'm already starting to fill it on the conditioner. It's already probably, if I can see, it's about here. So there's not too much product in here, but I love it. The last reason why I absolutely love this is if you guys use blow dryers or straighteners or curling irons after you do your hair, you know that sometimes it can leave a smell. Like, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about or not. Um, it could just be my previous shampoo and conditioners I've used. But um, especially my boyfriend, he would always complain, like, oh, you smell like burnt coconuts, you know, because the Aussie one that I have, it's kind of like a coconut smell, which I love when I'm washing my hair, but whenever I get done with my hair and I've, you know, blow dried and straightened it, it smells like burnt coconut. This stuff does not. It smells exactly like it does in the bottle on my hair right now. I've blow dried and I've straightened it, and it smells perfect. So I've really, really, really been liking these things, so I'm probably never going to stop buying them. I am really, really, really in love with these, so that's that. The next thing is this Olay Ultra Moisture in Shower Body Lotion, which I initially didn't think I would like. My sister got me this. Um, it came in one of those little Christmas sets that you get, and she gave it to me for Christmas. It usually has a magazine subscription in it, and that's just kind of been her thing that she's gotten me for a long time now. She'll buy me like a little bath set, whether it's got razors or shampoos or, you know, just little things in it. But it's also got a magazine subscription, so usually I'll renew some of my other magazines with it at Christmas. But this time I got this, and I was like, what? Body lotion for the shower? So I was kind of confused on that. But actually, I really, really like it. Especially the past few weeks, you know, to the last month or so. It's been super, super dry here. The air has been dry, you know, everybody's been cracked and, you know, bleeding. And, you know, your nose is always irritated because the weather's been crap. So, I've, whenever I feel like super dry, I've been using this in the shower, and it's kind of a strange 
consistency to put on in the shower but it actually it's really really nice and oh, it smells so good I want to say that it smells kind of like honeysuckle I'm not for sure but that's kind of what it reminds me of so yes it's definitely good I'm hooked on Dial Soap right now. It's the uh, vanilla one, if you guys check them out. Um, I really like the Dial one. It always just keeps my skin very moisturized and such. The Dial Body Wash, maybe I should say that. I'm hooked on the Dial Body Wash right now. So whenever I smelled this and tried the lotion, I was like, hmm, maybe I should try out the body wash. So I went and picked up a bottle of the body wash that goes with it. And it's advertising that there's one whole jar of moisturizer in the bottle, so I don't know if that's necessarily true. But it does seem very moisturizing. Um, I do like the smell of it. However, the smell is slightly different between the lotion and the body wash. So yeah, this one still smells good, but this one doesn't smell the same as this one, and I really liked this scent a lot better. Next up. I already told you guys it's been really dry here lately and so when it's dry outside there's a lot of static electricity. On the days where you know my hair doesn't want to cooperate I've been using this and I got it a long time ago but it's still been one of my favorite hairsprays. It's the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press. It's a thermal protection hairspray so it's kind of like a double use um, but I will use it mainly to keep my flyaways down and I know that I'm having crazy day today too probably if you guys can see it. It's kind of got like a watermelony scent but yeah it's been one of my favorites so that's definitely something I've been using a lot more this month. For the first time I'm going to put something I got in my Ipsy bag into my favorites video. This is the Be A Bombshell crayon in the bright red color and it is the name of it is Hot Damn which I want to say this was like the November Ipsy bag. Don't hold me to it. Um, but yes, I've actually been really liking this. And with all the crayon craze right now, um, I've been really liking it. That's actually what I'm wearing today. And yeah, so it's just been one of the favorite, my favorite lipstick that I've been picking up this month. So yeah, if you guys want to, you know, check it out for yourselves, you totally should. Over Christmas, I finally made it to an Ulta and I picked up the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I've definitely been liking this. I've been using it mainly to brighten up right here next to the inner corners of my eyes. And yeah, pretty much any time I've put on a full face of makeup, I have definitely put this on. And sometimes even when I don't put on foundation, I'll use this to kind of brighten up my eyes when I'm kind of tired looking in the morning when I'm going to work. But it's like one of those last things that you do. Like, oh, I have another minute or so, so I'll just quickly do that. But yeah, I've been definitely loving this this month. Um, it's been kind of a cult favorite favorite for a while so yep if you guys need a white eye pencil this is definitely a good one. Next up is the Bombshell Volume Mascara by CoverGirl. I've definitely been liking this product. At first I was like mm, not quite sure but after using it a few more times I've definitely fallen in love with it this month. So on the first end you have the volumizing side which is a really big chunky brush with uh, little tiny spikes and so I'll go over the, with this one first and then you use the second side conveniently numbered I know right and uh, this side is thinner but it has longer bristles but anyway yes I've been really liking it at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it but after a couple of times I've definitely come to love it especially that my eyelashes don't feel gunky you know how sometimes you put on mascara and it just you feel like there's mascara caked on when I wear this mascara it does not and I've also not noticed any fallout it doesn't seem to you know as the day wears on it doesn't seem to crumble off and fall into your eye and irritate your eye like some other mascaras have and so I to be completely honest it's about been half and half this month between this and the that's real mascara but I figured since this is a new product for me that this would be my January favorite because 
Nine times out of ten, it was a toss-up. It was whichever one was easier for me to grab or quicker. If I had a little bit longer in the morning to get ready, I would go ahead and use this one. But if I was in a rush, I used the That's Real Mascara because it's only one step. So it's kind of been equal for me this month, but I really liked this. So next up is something I purchased several months ago, and I'm just now getting around to using it. In the mornings, like I said, I'm kind of a last minute er you know, I'll get up as late as I possibly can and get ready as fast as I can to get out the door and go to work. Because honestly, when I go to work, you know, I'm just going to come home half the time, go work out, and then be at home for the rest of the evening. So, it's not like I'm really doing anything really special. And my makeup's going to come off throughout the day at work anyway because I'm working, I'm moving around, you know, sweating, whatever I'm doing. And uh, so I just, I don't really get ready all the time. I'd rather just sleep in. But when I do get ready, um, when I have, let's say I have like 15 minutes to get ready, this will be what I wear instead of my actual foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I've actually been working this in, and it's the Coors Mineral Foundation. It's um, a Wild Rose Mineral Foundation. It's supposed to be brightening. It's ha supposed to have buildable coverage, and it's a natural finish. So I've definitely been liking this for those days when I'm trying to be quick about my makeup because sometimes liquid foundation takes a little bit longer and I feel like a powder is a little bit easier and you're not too worried about being splotchy because it's just powder. Just kind of dust it around and even it out. Here's what it looks like. Give me up close. And it actually, I really do like the finish. It's very smooth. It um, definitely almost feels matte. To the touch, it doesn't bother me at all. It feels like I'm just wearing powder. It doesn't feel like I'm heavy on my makeup. But it does seem to even out my skin tone. It does reduce my redness. And so it looks like I got ready without actually having to do too much to my face. Because when it comes to makeup, I'm just kind of eh on foundation sometimes. Because I really like my skin to feel clean and I feel like it should be able to breathe. Whereas with liquid foundation, I sort of feel like it's a little heavy. That could be just because I haven't found the right foundation yet, but it's also easier. I just like using this stuff, but I've definitely been liking this, and this can be purchased at Sephora. It may be at Ulta too, but I know it's at Sephora, and I want to say it's like $26 or $28, and I actually got it at TJ Maxx because we randomly got it in, and I got it for about $7, so it's definitely a steal. And, uh, yeah, I've been really liking it, so whenever I run out of this, I make a repurchase it at Sephora. Maybe TJ Maxx will get it back. The next beauty favorite that I have for January is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And I got this a while back. This one is in the color Sunny. I got it a while back, and I've been using my Hula Bronzer, and I've been so crazy about my Hula Bronzer that I totally forgot I bought this. And when I saw it in there, I was like, you know, I'm going to try this today. I don't, I don't necessarily feel like using the Hula Bronzer. So I took the brush that the Hula Bronzer came with, and I've been using this ever since. And here's what the inside looks like. It's got the cute little sun pattern on it. But I've been using this as my contour, and I've actually kind of been liking it a lot more than I've been liking my Hula Bronzer. So 9 times out of 10, I'm reaching for this one instead of my Hula Bronzer. So I've definitely been liking this product. It's really cheap. It's definitely affordable. You can get it at Target and Walmart and Walgreens, I'm pretty sure. There's probably other places, maybe CVS, that you can get this product. It's definitely a good deal for the price, so you should definitely check this out. I have been trying to eat healthier Okay, I've been eating healthy, and I've been exercising regularly, and I'm super excited because I've lost a whole six pounds in the past, I want to say, three weeks now, so in about a month, I've lost about six pounds, and I'm so happy with myself. I've been going to the gym regularly, I've been eating healthy, I've been eating a... I've even been eating breakfast most mornings, and I have to say that my favorite food for this month has been my Special K fruit and yogurt cereal. It is so delicious, guys. You should definitely try it. Um, it makes me feel full in the morning. I'm not hungry until lunchtime, and it's it's also pretty low in calories. Um, they actually have it figured up from... Um, 2% milk. I drink 2% milk right now, but I'm hoping at some point to transition down to one and then skim milk and then maybe go to almond milk. 
but I've tried almond milk and I don't really like it yet, so I've heard that it's better to transition yourself, kind of getting used to the different milk. Um, so yeah, I've basically been a 2% girl for a very long time, but... Anyways, long story short, this has been a really good thing for me. I can just go get a bowl of cereal and then I don't have to worry about anything and I'm still able to eat, you know, a snack if I want something later because sometimes I've eaten this for dinner since so I just like, meh, I don't really want what he's eating because he's eating pizza and that's bad. So I've been trying to eat more healthy foods and so yeah, I've definitely been really liking this. Okay guys, that's it for my January favorites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also let me know in the comments what your favorites have been for the month of January. And you can follow me on Instagram and all my social links will be posted down below in the down bar. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! I opened the foundation and whenever I did, I was like, man, it's all right here at the top. Oop. It was all stuck right here in the holes, and so I was like, yeah, so I'll just do this and knock it down to the bottom while I had it open. That was a genius plan, because it totally got foundation all over me and all over my sweater, and I didn't have time to worry about it, so I had foundation hand. Yeah, true story. And just stare in the window. Creepy papers. I'm gonna go shut my curtains. And my neighbors just walk past the window all like, mm, like staring in at me like this. And I'm over here sitting in the corner with my camera on. So yeah, that wasn't awkward at all. I'll be glad when I have a house and we don't have people walking on the balcony next to our windows. Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna be doing my January favorites. And, ah, uh, uh, forgot what I was gonna say.